Yahweh Shalom. First and foremost, like give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, and Hakadosh. Every Father's true name is like Yahweh of Israel, who means only begotten Son, which is Hamashiach Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, in the name of Hamashiach Yahweh Shabbat. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrews, the Lashwan Kadasha of the tongue, and I say Shalom. Yeah, this is a uh, news article from. Uh, from C, from uh, CNBC.com, last updated uh, October the 5th, 2023 at 4.25 p.m. Eastern Time. And this is published by Hai Young Kim and Lisa Kaya Ken from CNBC News in the uh, business uh, news category. And this reads, it says an S&P 500 quotes slightly lower as traders brace for Friday's big job report. It says that the stocks tick lower Thursday as investors look towards the key jobs data on Friday that could determine the next move for interest rates. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slowed 9.98% or 0.3% 0. 0. to close at a 33.192.57 S&P 500 dipped to 0.13% at 4,258.19 and says the NASDAQ composite traded down 0.12% to end at 13,219.83 and it says the consumer staples companies that led the broad market index closed Thursday share of beverage company also Wolves fails uh, 0.6.3% Thursday, following by the Mazda International Clorox, who declined more than 5% each. It says the weekly initial jobs claims came in at 2,207,000 2, for the week ending September 30th and up to 2,000 from the prior week. Numbers economists has four class 210,000 according to the Dow Jones consistence estimate. While the slight increase in jobless claims were about the line of the street, is disappointing some investors hoping the weekly data will start to signal a labor market breakdown and ending the run in rates that hurts hurting stocks. The 10 year yield yet initially tick up after the jobless claims report before the inching down it was last in yield at 4.714%. And it says we are in the middle of a transition from what everybody thinks is a lower rate environment and a kind of more normalizing the rate environment. This and just periods are tough, said Horizon Investments Chief Investing Officer Scott. On Friday, economics is pulled by the SLEG, believing a non form payroll from September, which shows 170,000 increase down from a 187,000 jobs gain in August, while investors aren't hoping for a recession. They are wishing for some labor market weakness that would cause the Federal Reserve to rethink the rates, rising rates, and again be hoped to run any treasure yield to the 16 year high. Lender is optimistic that the labor market is softening with the respect uh, to the latest jobs claims to require the payroll data. And it says the total of the labor market data is telling us that things are getting better and things are getting better in terms of numbers and softening. Less a hype, less a hot, and going on so in the most healthy way which is essentially less hiring, but still not very much firing. Lendrick says stocks got a slight boost on Wednesday after the latest payroll data from the ADP signals investors that the labor market is beginning to boost. Nevertheless, the broad market index and 30 stock are on the pace for a losing, losing week. The Dow Jones down 1.16% uh, week to date and return negative for the year during the Tuesday sell-off. The S&P 500 is lower than 0.7% for the week, while the NASDAQ is about flat. 
So with that, this was just a uh, sit down lesson that I wanted to bring out of the uh, markets. Had a good solid game earlier today, but after the closing bell over there at the stock exchange over there in New York City at the three o'clock, the uh, stocks went down from the Dow Jones, I believe it's 9.25% in the negatives category, right along with the S&P 500 as well too in the NASDAQ. And it says again, uh, updated Thursday, October the 5th, 2023 at 4.25 p.m. Eastern time. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, uh, Tim and Lisa Kali Hinn. This article was published by them. As it says again, the S&P 500 closed slightly lower as traders brace for Friday's big jobs report. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, out of fun. I don't like to give all praises and glory and honor to the Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akar Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders for Christian words, truth, and sincerity, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, Christian words, truth, and sincerity as well, too. Until next time, I'll say Shalom. Thank <laughs> you.